new video and in this video we'll be checking out some power bi interview uh, questions and answers asked in recent essential interview so if you are preparing uh, for mncs uh, then these set of questions are very important so take a note of it and let's get started what's the difference between merge and append so when you do merge and append there is a, a big difference in power bi basically uh, when we see the operation side of things so merge will combine table horizontally so it's basically a join and join is left right full and empty i'll tell you more about the joins in next slide and append is basically when you combine the table vertically the primary purpose of merge query is to add column from another table and uh, the primary purpose of append query is add rows from another table so when interview ask you between the merge and append you need to uh, tell them the key differences uh, which i am showing you here uh, the key requirement for merge is uh, it it require matching keys or columns uh, for for the join purpose without the matching keys you cannot uh, join two tables in append uh, you need the similar column structure so you need uh, the similar column structure to append it uh, basically uh, the example use case i can tell you is like in uh, when we need to join uh, customer detail with orders okay so there are two tables customer detail and order and if you need to join it uh, you uh, have to perform the merge operation in the power bi uh, but if you want to combine the regional sales data which is like a similar uh, structure then you can append uh, the queries uh, into one another okay so what's the join types in power bi so basically there is left outer join so all the rows from the left table uh, will be coming and the matching rows from the right table will be coming uh, when we are uh, uh, doing the right outer join all the rows from the right table and only the matching rows from the left will come when we do full outer join all rows from both tables uh, will come whether it's matching or not when we do the inner join only the matching records will come from both the table it's similar to sql uh, but uh, like you can do the anti join also in power bi uh, so left anti join and right anti join is also there so rows from the left table with no match in the right table is left anti join uh, and right anti join is rows from the right table with no match in the left table so you need to uh, specify if uh, interview asks you the join types uh, but if he doesn't ask you about the join types then you just uh, uh, tell the names when you are telling the example in the merge queries right okay so next question is what's the difference between star schema and snowflake schema so basically there is a structural difference uh, so star schema is much simpler with dimension table directly linked to the fact table and fact table is basically uh, it's like all the tables are denormalized and fact table is basically centrally located and dimension table are linked to the fact table basically and snowflake schema is like little complex in structure with dimension table normalized into sub table so when you normalize uh, uh, the tables then uh, if you link all the normal uh, tables to each other and fact is in the center then it will be a snowflake schema so normalization is like in star schema it's like denormalized denormalized meaning redundant data in dimensions table okay and snowflake is like normalized data we have the query for performance is faster because there are only fewer joins there are not many tables but in snowflake schema the query performance is slower because there are more joins there are more uh, sub tables are there the ease of use is uh, in a star schema it's easy to understand and work with snowflake is more complex due to multiple joins you need to tell everything to the interviewer step by step okay storage wise you can tell that uh, require more storage because of the redundancy and the snowflake is like require less storage it will remove uh, the redundancy because that tables are uh, normalized basically the use case you can tell is like the example 
uh, we can use simple data models and uh, in star schema basically we use simple data models and when there is a complex data model better data organization we have to use snowflake schema hope this is clear next move on to the next question different data connections available in power bi so what are the different data connections available in power bi this you need to tell uh, uh giving example of your project so they are basically file based connection database connection and online connection is there so file based connection is excel csv text file xml json pdf so you have to tell what have you have, what you have used in your project only uh, but give the example of each and every type so in file base uh, these are all the options database connection is like uh, we have the SQL Server connection, MySQL, Oracle, you can connect to Power BI, Postgres SQL, you can connect to Power BI, IBM uh, database, you can connect to Power BI, Teradata, SAP, HANA, everything you can connect to the Power BI. And on, in online services, um, basically what you have used, you can tell uh, 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 in that interview. But uh, there are many like SharePoint online list, OneDrive, Google Analytics, you can connect Salesforce, you can connect Azure, you can connect Power BI data sets also you can connect. Other data sets, other data sources which you can connect are web URL basically and O data feed and REST APIs also you can connect uh, via custom connector. So you can give one or two examples in each of these uh, sources and give the example from your project basically. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So interviewer asked uh, uh, like write one complex DEX you have used in your project. So you can write any of the DEX which you have used in your project. So one DEX uh, I, I have written is like uh, month, uh, month over month sales change. So in that I have created one variable called uh, current month sales. And in that uh, I have used some of sales and uh, in previous month sales variable i have calculated the previous month sales through uh, with the help of use of parallel period so parallel period is uh, is a dax uh, basically and in that we have passed the order date comma minus one because we need uh, the month to be previous month and we have passed the month because we need the month not the year or the date S then we return uh, basically we divide uh, because we need sales change so we have divided it current month sales minus previous month sales and divided it by previous month sales if nothing return then zero so this you can write it or you can write according to your project okay so what is drill through concepts in power bi so if interview asks you what is drill through, you can tell them that like drill through in Power BI allow users to click on a data point in a report and drill through to another detailed page that shows more information about that specific data point. So use case or the example you can give is if you are viewing a sales report by region, you can right click on a specific region and drill through a, to a page that show detailed sales data for that region. So if you want to show a sales data on region wise then uh, maybe uh, on a on a first page you can show uh, basically all the regions and when person can uh, click on it then they can go on to that region and you can show a deeper analysis on another page for that region so basically these all are the questions that interview asked in the essential interview so if you like the video kindly like and subscribe for more interview questions and uh, have a great day guys thank you